things happening by the looks of it here at the Highlands uh, Parade Ground at the same time. So while we welcome this very special machine, at the same time we are celebrating 100 years of Kenworth trucks and some amazing Kenworths are now making their way onto the parade ground to our left here. Yeah, so Kenworth trucks from 19 major sponsors here at Wanaka, bringing these trucks to you, and in fact bringing the whole South Pack bus up at the uh, Kenworth and Daff tent behind us, uh, beside the, the hill behind us. So do go and have a look at their, um, their tent. Um, so we've got a bit of an, which is a massive case cross engine tractor. And the early tractors had their engines going crossways because they were mainly used to drive other things, like chaff cutters and threshers and things like that. So you watch as this tractor comes around. It's a giant of tractors imported to Wanaka from Scotland, of all places. So it's gone from America to Scotland and back to New Zealand. So it's a well-travelled case tractor and beautiful. We've got a whistle on it, like the steam engine, so this is a crossover between the last of the, you know, the steam going to internal combustion, and that's what's represented by the case tractor. So we'll get the tractors to parade around the middle, and there's a massive Minneapolis tractor coming behind the case. There's Carl on his heart power, followed by a 1920 heart power on the outside, the oldest heart power in New Zealand. And my bet is we're going to get so many Kenworths in here, we're not going to know what to do with this parade. <laughs> Our steel wheel entries to make their way around the, the inside, the inner line, if you like, of the Highlands Parade Ground. Midnight Express, welcome. Awesome. Just history in motion, Murph, isn't it? It's something about uh, a big rig. And, and, the, and also how they've been individualised by owners and by drivers to put their vehicles with their trucks. Stunning machines. 100 years, can you believe that? 100 years that Kenworth has been represented in. And little old Aotearoa, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. And just all the different configurations, just massive, massive array of configurations of, of vehicles for doing all sorts of different jobs. A beautiful display of them. And unlike a lot of um, uh, motoring events that you uh, that you may go to, or motor racing and things like this, uh, the the ethos, if you like, of Wheels of Monica is that we want to be able to get you up close uh, to the trucks, to the earth moving machinery, the tractors and cars and so on that we have uh, being showcased. So at the moment they're on the Highlands Parade Ground, but there will be a chance for you to wander around and check them out, get up nice and close. To give you, a, if you've just wandered in here, to, uh, to kind of three parks, to, to Wheels at Wanaka, 1,800 machines around the precinct, 550 tractors and, and, uh, and machines that celebrate the farming heritage of, of New Zealand, almost 500 cars, not to mention a huge celebration of Land Rovers that kicked things off today for 75 years of Land Rovers. There's something like 270 trucks, 100 earth movers, 63 clubs that are, that are represented as well. So it's just the, the most beautiful um, snapshot, as I think you and I talked about yesterday, of everything you wanted as a kid in some respects, but in, oh, but in real life size. Oh, I think I'm, I'm in love with the, the cab over Kenworth. Uh, it takes me back to, there was some TV show, I don't know, in the 80s or something. What was it called, Greg? Was it, was it uh, BJ McKay or something? Oh, yeah. His friend Bear with a monkey yep. or something? I can't remember. Something like that. Anyway, I fell in love with that. It's just like me and a, uh, in the Jukes that has a 69 Charger or the uh, 18, 18 GMC van yep. from uh, years gone by in TV shows. But there is a lot more Kenworth trucks to come in. They are just actually just starting to flow them flow into the Highlands arena here. Smoky and the Bandit. Smoky and the Bandit. There you go. Lots of uh, 
It's a movie kind of um, theme, representation absolutely. themes, yeah. yeah. Amazing to see so many people uh, coming in the gates here at Wheels of Wanaka. Just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. So much to see and do. What's happening over at actually the Terra Cat is moving pit right now, thrust. So we are coming up, we've got about 15 minutes remaining in the classic Earth Movers. So that, that division kind of represents 1960 through to 1980. So you'll get to see some machines that have been preserved, restored, that have done some tremendous things in a in a working sense here uh, in New Zealand, back in that Terracat earth moving pit so make sure you check that out and part of the the 23 events we've just had round one more or less um wrap up at the tractor and truck pool which is at the class harvest center tractor and truck pool area just directly over the hill many of you actually perched on the hill behind the uh, the austin healy car club here you have some white cars um in behind the minor 10 area where you car as well so and there is there is something as we've got a bit of uh, truck horns happening. Murph, there is something for the kids. If you've got little ones with you, we've got a fun Easter exercise for them here at Wheels at Wanaka. Yeah, absolutely. So you can grab from a, around different sites um, and uh, the kids can get uh, the stamps. They just go and collect the stamps from all the different parts of uh, Wheels at Wanaka, the different uh, sites at Terra Cat, at Mitre 10, which is just up behind us, at Komatsu, uh, the fun Kids Fun HQ, which is uh, once you've collected all the stamps, kids, go over to the Wheels at Wanaka shop, merchandise shop, which is near the uh, Wanaka Power Sports Dirt Pit, and, and do a lucky draw and there's lots of amazing prizes up for grabs. So uh, plenty for the kids to do. Uh, also, if, uh, if you want to, for the kids want to go and experience what it's, dry, uh, what it's like to drive a Komatsu uh, excavator, there is the opportunity to do that as well over at Komatsu. Um, and so we've got the air horns blowing. So just, just see Drowning out the noise. Yeah. Just see one of our, our great team from Wheels at Wanaka. And you can get that poster, we're calling it the Fulton Hogan Kids Passport for 2023. So you need to grab that poster. Get those, get those stickers. And can I ones as well? Just a little something to keep an eye on for our schedule. For the young ones, you want to be back here at 1 p.m. as well. At one o'clock today, we may be having, we may be having a little bit of fun with some Easter eggs. So don't miss that at 1 p.m. today. You want to be back here at the Highlands Parade Ground for, uh, for that. So just keep an eye on your schedule. But in the meantime, of course, uh -huh. enjoy some of the beautiful food that is uh, on show uh, here from, uh, from Wanaka and the surrounding Great region. And some too. terrific coffee as well, yeah. From right behind us here, uh, the team are making wonderful coffees. Thank you, guys. I don't need more, that's my third one, I'd say. So in a, in a schedule sense, we're at the 100 years of Kenworth trucks are basically making their way out of the, um, the parade ground. There may be some more to come, but we will keep that kind of truck or trucking flavor for you because um, we're also um, rightfully shitty years of Mack Trucks, their great rival here in New Zealand as well. So they're coming up very shortly, but 100 years of, um, of Kenworth trucks here at Wheels of Wanaka. So 50 years of Mack trucks, Mack's made in Palmerston North 50 years ago and a, a proud history in New Zealand. Uh, they're made in Australia now.